I always have the intention of bringing a glass bottom boat to Speyside. And I went to Boko one time, I met Mr. Charles King, who I, get, who I bought this glass bottom boat from, bring it to Speyside, and I did lots of repair to it, and there is where the start last, the glass bottom boat business started in Speyside. My name is Woodsworth Quincy Frank, better known as Quincy in the village. I am the owner of the, and manager of the Board Watchers Restaurant and Bar in Speyside. I am the person who introduced Frank Tours in Speyside. When we newly um, introduced the glass bottom boat and I, after I prepared it and get it ready for business, we had it on the shore for almost two months and we wasn't getting any business at all. And one day, this lady just show up, one lady show up and she said she want to go to the Tobago then. I said, you know, I had two nephews at the time because I was working as a professional like that. And I sent my two nephews there and they went up. And I tell them, I say, what happened? We're not charging her. And we didn't charge her any money at all to go to the Tobago. She enjoyed her trip. And after that, things just get different. Lots of people saying the reef was too deep and this and that. Um, well, I took a well, brochure down to Mr. Rendell Russell at the time, who used to um, be the owner of Tobago Chavez. And when I took it to him, he also said, Frank, you have to work on operating space at the Kennedy. But what happened is that one time he had a group was coming to Tobago and he called me and he said, Frank, we're going to give you a try. Give them a nice store on Little Tobago for me. Then I took them to Little Tobago and myself I gave them a nice store, a walk. At that time, it was about, about 24 persons. Then when they, when they went back, they told him how it was so good. Then after that, we start getting 48, 50. Zolani, who is my son, he was, with, he was on the boat from about five years old. I actually led my first store at the tender, tender age of about 11 or 12 years. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually begged the guy to do it. I was like, I want to give it a try. And my first, the first time I did a talk or not did a talk, it was just a part of me. Started to present it all to them. I, I, I got the attention and that was something really good. They were all amazed at the knowledge that this young boy you know how well eventually he leaves secondary school and he decided to do it full time so i do tours general land tours and sea tours tours to little tobago uh reefs snorkeling and whenever i go out there whatever the audience like i try my best to present it to them besides being a, a bird watcher myself um, I have people who might go there and want to see other stuff. I always try to go in deep to make sure to make the satisfaction of the client. So it's something that I, you know, it's just in me, the passion is just inside that automatically comes out. So I decided that I will give up the boat business to him and I will go to the restaurant because I was needed at the restaurant at the time. We serve lunch, we serve dinner. Our specialty is lobster. We used to have lots of tourists used to come to the restaurant to ask about apartments where they can get or somewhere where they can stay. So I decided to put a three apartment in the in the house to do the tourism business. I do have a lot of business that come through email, so I have to always be on point with technology. Coming into the tourism business, you're not just jumping in and things will just happen. It's a long-term investment and um, you must read a lot because Every day I learn something new, you know, and always be willing to learn when I come into this business. My name is Woodsworth Quincy Frank, better known as Quincy in the village. My name is Zolani Frank, tour guide and operator of Frank's Tours, and, and that's, that's my tourism story. story.